Hi, I'm Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to produce your own songs with Music Maker. First of all, let's start with the drums and bass. Music Maker already provides a lot of drum loops, but today I'm going to create my own. I use the drum computer beatbox and easily fill in the drums wherever I want. Next to the drums, the bass is the most important element in this track. Ah, I think the drums could do with more pressure. Therefore, I will add a compressor into the mixer. And pump up the volume. Before I carry on, I just copy all sounds and extend the song. Let's add further instruments. I just search in the sound pool for a loop I like. Sequences are always a good choice because they're easy to edit. By using a loop in different pitches, you can create your personal melody. And that's quite simple. Just click on the numbers, drag it over here, and shorten it that it fits. By the way, it's really easy to change the volume of a loop. Well, up to here the basics of the song are done. I'll just copy this part and shorten the drum track for a little break. Now you can expand the arrangement. Now I'll show you how to get the most out of it. A professional song needs a progressive structure to be exciting. For this, I just shorten this section of the loop and copy the short parts behind each other. Of course, I have to do that for every track to make it work. And this one. Altogether, it sounds like this. Let's get into the details. To complete the song, you just need some more sounds. I 
I got some percussions I recorded myself. I drag them into the project. Sounds good. By the way, this is how to record an instrument. Simply activate the recording here. Under keyboard, choose an instrument and a preset. I like the Revolta synthesizer. Start the recording. And there we go. Now I'll just show you the mixer to get an idea of your other possibilities. Open the mixer here or press M on the keyboard. Let's try an effect. This sounds sturdier and less trancy. Just apply this effect on some vocals and sometimes you will get really exciting results. Before I export the song as an MP3 or burn onto disc, I adjust the whole sound with the mastering suite. I think that's it. Right, while you're practicing on your songs now, I'm gonna wreck out some vocals. But I think I'll do that on my own. <laughs>